In July 2025, Russia marked a major milestone in the development of its domestic aviation industry with the successful first flight of the experimental flying testbed equipped with the new VK-800 turboprop engine. This noteworthy accomplishment underscores Russia's ongoing endeavors to fortify its technological autonomy and revitalize its regional and light aviation sector. The VK-800, a critical power plant that was developed as part of a government initiative to replace foreign-made components with domestically produced systems, was demonstrated during the flight for its reliability and capabilities. The VK-800 made its debut in the skies aboard a flying laboratory that was operated by the S.A. Chaplagin Siberian Aeronautical Research Institute, SIB-NEA, and was based on the Yakovlev Yak-40 aircraft. sib -NIA has been a center for experimental aviation research and testing for a long time, and it has once again demonstrated its role as a critical participant in the testing of next-generation technologies. The engine's operational characteristics were evaluated across various flight regimes during the 934-second test flight, which lasted approximately 15.5 minutes. The flight was conducted at altitudes of up to 700 meters with a maximum true speed of 340 kilometers per hour. The VK-800 operated seamlessly during all phases of operation, including taxiing, launch, flight, and landing. The engine provided consistent propulsion without any abnormal behavior or system malfunctions, as per the test engineers who were involved in the mission. The aircraft systems evaluated the integration as satisfactory, and the controls demonstrated predictable responses. Engineers started a comprehensive analysis and reporting process in response to the flight, which will inform the engine's future development and the sequencing of more sophisticated test scenarios. Featuring a centrifugal compressor, a reverse flow combustion chamber, a single-stage compressor turbine, and a two-stage free turbine, the VK-800 is a turboprop engine that has been designed in a classic configuration. This design is known for its ease of maintenance and robustness, rendering it particularly well-suited for regional aviation and operations in remote or inadequately equipped airfields. The Ural Civil Aviation Plant, UZGA, created the engine specifically to satisfy the requirements of adaptability, simplicity, and reliability, which are essential attributes for aircraft operating in the extensive and often severe environmental conditions of Russia. The VK-800 engine is a critical component of Russia's current and future aircraft programs. It is being developed as part of a broader initiative to fortify the National Aerospace Manufacturing Base under a state contract with the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation. The engine is intended to provide power to a number of upcoming aircraft models, such as the LMS-901 Baikal light utility aircraft which is intended to replace the renowned AN-2, the UTS-800, a trainer aircraft that has been developed for pilot training in both civil and military aviation, and the LMS-1-92 Osve, a regional aircraft that was developed through Russian-Belarusian collaboration. In addition, the VK-800 is designed to be employed in the re-engineering of Czech-designed L-410 aircraft that are being localized for production in Russia thereby further reducing reliance on foreign engines. A video that documented the preparation and execution of the test flight garnered significant attention. Vladimir Barsuk, a distinguished and esteemed test pilot from Russia, provided commentary for the video. The commentary was particularly noteworthy, pause, 0.75. He provided a professional assessment of the VK-800 engine's performance, described the experience of flying with it, and shared insights into the testing process. His observations reinforced confidence in the engine's potential for operational deployment in upcoming Russian-designed aircraft by highlighting its smooth integration with the testbed aircraft and its encouraging behavior under load. With the successful completion of its initial flight, the VK-800 advances to the subsequent phases of testing. A succession of trials will be conducted in the upcoming months to evaluate its performance in various climatic 
and geographic conditions, such as high-altitude environments and Arctic zones. Confirming the engine's durability and adaptability in the variety of operational scenarios it anticipates in service will require these evaluations. When one took off, comprehensive checks are performed on aircraft and engine systems, including temperature conditions and hydraulic system tightness. Electrical systems and instrument equipment operation accuracy are ensured before proceeding with decoding. Already control and recording equipment, the parameters are determined by them directly, the internal operation of the engine, pressure, etc. Taking into account the fact that this engine will mainly be used on single-engine aircraft is this MS901 Baikal, is this S800 also L410 or should I master it there? Yes, this is a twin-engine plane. The use of this engine on this type of aircraft is fraught with danger. Any rejections? Thus, it's perfectly logical that this engine was initially installed in the Yak-40 aircraft, which possesses three engine gears and exhibits a performance of 25 and beyond. The VK-800 engine facilitates horizontal flight, approach, climb and more. Hence, it serves as a type of stand during full-scale tests under real flight conditions for single-engine aircraft. The engine is expected to enter the certification phase following the conclusion of the test campaign, following which full-scale serial production can commence. The VK-800's inaugural test flight represents a major step in the development of Russia's aviation engine industry. The ability of the country's aerospace sector to design, build, and successfully test a modern turboprop engine domestically demonstrates its engineering expertise and industrial capacity. The VK-800 will not only facilitate the introduction of numerous new aircraft platforms, but also bolster Russia's position in the global aviation market by providing a dependable, domestic alternative to foreign engines once it has been certified and deployed. Now, do you think a single-engine family like the VK-800 is better for cost and logistics, or is it smarter to have multiple specialized engines like in the West? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.